Yankees. While Washington comes in 21 and 10, a six and a half game lead in their division. Tomahawks that one, and that's going to be out of here. Goodbye, home run. Trumbo delivers the long ball, and the Orioles in the first inning have put two out of the yard. And I guess if there's one guy that really needed to hit a home run, it is Mark Trumbo. Last year's home run, Chad, a slow start this season. I've heard us say this many, many times. Free agent pitchers as this is going to be the third hit for Dickerson, a chance for two. And he'll have himself a double. Good piece of hitting there by Corey Dickerson. Three for four. A leadoff double in the seventh. Well, for Corey, average to 297. Boy, how did he hit that? That was like a, a high live swing. Watch it hits the dirt, and then he hits the ball. Do you know what? Wow. We, we had, what was the last time? <laughs> that bounce. <laughs> Come on now. Look at this. Hey, Vladdy Guerrero what? would be proud. What? I mean, that, and that bounce like, like it a foot in front of where he yeah. hit it. You have to get ahead. And there goes the runner. That one is looped in the air to short. And it's going to fall in for a base hit. His tourists will stop at third. Guerrero way around, and the ball is thrown away. Nobody was covering second base. The error will score is Torres and allow Guerrero to go down to second. Yeah, well, here's another curveball. Now watch this swing, and, it, and that ball bounces. So here we go. Here's your kind of like a drop kick, but with a bat. That amazing. That's first time I've ever seen it in 47 years. That's Hall of Fame numbers, and that gives you an idea. Vladdy's right. further proof of what everyone yeah. says about him. He can hit anything you throw that's up there. close enough <laughs> to the plate to get the bat on. That is heading right for his kneecaps. Gets him on that inner third. High fly ball, right center field. Did he get it up? Back it goes, and it's gone! Back to back nights. Walk off wins for the O's. The magic is back at the yard. Is that Chris Davis? Two home runs in this ball game. Big shot in last night's ball game. There was walk off back to back nights. Chris Davis is in a, uh, a different mode right now. And jump on, boys, because he is hot. Saw a steady diet of sliders. And he reaches out. How about the strength by Davis? No lower half at all. That's all hands and arms. And it's a game winning shot for Davis and the Orioles. Oh, yeah. Huge celebration. And a great way to start this homestand. Aware of that? <laughs> no, I wasn't aware of it until uh, he, so he came up and started doing some things. There's a shot, long ball to left field, and it's a home run off the foul pole. Two-run shot from Correa, number 13 of the season. The Astros lead it two to nothing. That's 34 runs batted in for the rookie. This is his 48th game. And I tell you what, this kid can keep out doing anything I've done because he has been a blast to watch. Pardon the pun. Well, it's not just offense, but the offense has been spectacular. The defense has been as well. And I imagine he's a guy right now that the Astros, the players, want to see at the plate. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Fly ball into right. Back at the wall. It's gone. Frazier with a three-run shot. The second. Here's the home run swing, just <laughs> shooting it the other way by Frazier. I'm just telling you, 
When you're out there and you make solid contact, the one thing was his body was gone, but his hands were back. Todd Frazier is known for hitting it from center. He lifts it into left. Down the line. Up the wall. Come on! As Grossman takes off, Altuve just hits a little ground ball for hit number 215. Now, if you're going to be a really good hitter on the big league level, first and foremost, make sure you get good pitches to hit. <laughs> there you go. And we've seen some of the uh, recent graphics that show what Altuve hits in different zones. And maybe not surprisingly, that quadrant. He's really good at it. 